Welcome to History Uncovered, where we delve into the stories and events that have shaped our world. If you're a fan of history and love learning about the people and events that have shaped our world, then be sure to hit that subscribe button below. We release new videos every day so you'll always have something new to discover. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when our latest episodes are released, and you'll be supporting us in our mission to bring fascinating stories from the past to a wider audience. If you have ideas of what we should make a video about next, let us know in the comment section. In this episode, we will be discussing one of the most remarkable military commanders in ancient history, Scipio Africanus. Scipio Africanus was born in 236 BC into a prominent Roman family, the Cornelii Scipiones. His father, Publius Cornelius Scipio, was a distinguished general who fought in the First Punic War. Scipio Africanus was named after his father, and he grew up with a strong sense of duty and a desire to follow in his father's footsteps. At the age of 17, Scipio Africanus fought in the Second Punic War, which was a conflict between Rome and Carthage. Carthage was a powerful city-state located in North Africa, and it posed a serious threat to Rome's dominance in the Mediterranean region. In 218 BC, the Carthaginian general Hannibal Barca launched a surprise attack on Rome by crossing the Alps with an army of 50,000 men and a herd of elephants. This was a bold and daring move, and it caught the Romans off guard. Hannibal won several major battles against the Romans, and he even threatened to march on Rome itself. In the midst of this crisis, Scipio Africanus emerged as a brilliant military strategist. He saw that the key to defeating Hannibal was to take the fight to him in North Africa. Scipio convinced the Roman Senate to allow him to lead an army to Carthage, and in 204 BC, he landed in North Africa with an army of 30,000 men. Scipio's campaign in North Africa was a masterclass in military strategy. He won several key battles against the Carthaginians, and he was able to cut off their supply lines and isolate their army. In 202 BC, Scipio faced off against Hannibal in the Battle of Zama, which was one of the most important battles in ancient history. At Zama, Scipio deployed a unique strategy that took advantage of the weaknesses in Hannibal's army. He placed his strongest troops in the center of his line and weaker troops on the flanks. When the battle began, Hannibal's cavalry attacked the Roman flanks, but Scipio's weaker troops held their ground while his stronger troops broke through the center of Hannibal's line. The Battle of Zama was a decisive victory for the Romans, and it marked the end of the Second Punic War. Scipio Africanus was hailed as a hero and given the title Africanus in honor of his victory in North Africa. The Battle of Illipo was a pivotal engagement in the Second Punic War, fought between the Roman Republic and the Carthaginian Empire. In 206 BC, Scipio Africanus led an army of 25,000 men against a Carthaginian force led by Hasdrubal Barca, the younger brother of Hannibal Barca. The battle took place near the town of Illipa in modern-day Spain, and it was one of the most significant Roman victories of the war. Scipio Africanus demonstrated his military genius by developing a strategy that exploited the weaknesses of the Carthaginian army. He split his forces into three groups, one of which was a decoy force that lured the Carthaginian cavalry away from the main battle. The Roman army then attacked the Carthaginian infantry in two waves, with the first wave led by the Roman legions and the second wave led by the Roman cavalry. The Carthaginians were caught off guard by this strategy and suffered heavy losses. Hasdrubal Barca was eventually forced to retreat, and the Roman army emerged victorious. The Battle of Illipo was a turning point in the Second Punic War. It secured Roman control of much of Spain and weakened Carthaginian influence in the region. Scipio Africanus emerged as a brilliant military commander and earned the respect and admiration of his troops. His victory at Illipo was a crucial step towards his ultimate triumph over Hannibal Barca at the Battle of Zama. The Battle of Zama was fought in 202 BC, near the town of Zama Regia in modern-day Tunisia, and it was one of the most significant battles of the Second Punic War. The Roman army, led by Scipio Africanus, faced off against the Carthaginian army, led by the legendary general Hannibal Barca. At the time of the battle, Hannibal had been leading a campaign in Italy for many years, winning several major battles against the Romans. 
But Scipio had managed to turn the tide of the war by launching a campaign in North Africa and cutting off the Carthaginian supply lines. When the two armies met at Zama, they were fairly evenly matched. The Carthaginian army had a large contingent of elephants, which were used as shock troops to break through the Roman lines. Scipio, however, had prepared for this by deploying his best troops in the center of his line and weaker troops on the flanks. As the battle began, Hannibal's cavalry attacked the Roman flanks, but the weaker troops held their ground while Scipio's stronger troops broke through the center of Hannibal's line. This caused chaos in the Carthaginian ranks, and Scipio was able to exploit this by sending in his reserve troops to attack from the rear. The Battle of Zama was a decisive victory for the Romans, and it effectively ended the Second Punic War. Hannibal fled the field and eventually went into exile, while Carthage was forced to pay a large indemnity to Rome and cede its territories in Spain. Scipio Africanus emerged as one of the most celebrated figures in Roman history, and he was given the honorary title Africanus in recognition of his victory. The Battle of Zama is remembered as one of the greatest military victories in Roman history, and it solidified Rome's dominance in the Mediterranean region. It was also a testament to Scipio Africanus' brilliance as a military commander and his ability to outmaneuver one of the greatest generals of all time, Hannibal Barca. But Scipio's legacy extends far beyond his military exploits. He was also a brilliant politician and statesman who played a key role in shaping the future of Rome. After the Second Punic War, Scipio was elected consul and he worked tirelessly to promote Roman interests in the Mediterranean region. In 149 BC, Carthage was defeated by Rome in the Third Punic War, which had been sparked by a dispute over the terms of a treaty between the two powers. Scipio had been dead for over 30 years by this time, but his legacy as a military commander and statesman continued to shape Roman policy towards Carthage. After the fall of Carthage, the city was burned to the ground and its people were sold into slavery. This was a devastating blow to Carthaginian civilization and marked the end of one of the most powerful city-states in the ancient world. But Scipio's legacy is not without controversy. Some historians argue that he was a ruthless and ambitious politician who was willing to use any means necessary to achieve his goals. There are also questions about his personal life, as he was accused of adultery and other scandalous behavior. Despite these controversies, there is no denying that Scipio Africanus was one of the most remarkable figures in ancient history. His military genius and political savvy helped to shape the course of Roman history and cement Rome's place as a dominant power in the ancient world. Scipio Africanus died in 183 BC, but his legacy lived on. He was remembered as a hero and a symbol of Roman power, and his name was passed down through the generations as a symbol of military excellence and leadership. In conclusion, Scipio Africanus was one of the most important figures in ancient history. His military achievements and political prowess helped to shape the course of Roman history and cement Rome's place as a dominant power in the ancient world. Despite controversies surrounding his personal life and political ambitions, Scipio remains a legendary figure whose legacy continues to inspire admiration and awe. Thank you for watching this episode of History Uncovered. If you found this video informative and engaging, please like and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories from the past. And don't forget to ring the bell for notifications so that you never miss a new video. Until next time, Keep exploring the stories and events that have shaped our world.